All right, welcome back. So on this module, we are going to talk about control access to records. So what are records again? Let's dive into our trailhead playground. Hands on orgs there. And we are going to our playful wolf. Now, if I go to my contacts records, this is records here. So if I change this to students only, so these are records, right? The data. So these are called records. So who can see this? Okay. So to better explain about control access to records, let's create a brand new object and we are going to call it payments all right so what are payments for for our particular case so a parent would like to take their kids to a swimming lesson and book a swimming lesson they call but then they have to make a payment to book the lesson right so we don't have that payment object yet to capture when the payment was made and how using a credit card in person by cash or maybe they also accept checks so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to go to my gear icon here and set up and here I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to object manager. And I'm going to create a new object, a custom object. Let's name it payment. And the plural is payments, right? Payments made for swimming lessons okay and I'm going to make the payment name an auto number so P and then dash one two three four five like that that's okay starting number one yeah we want to report on payments uh, sure track field history and deployed and that's that and uh, let's make a new tab as well so we can view the records independently so payments I'm going to make a dollar sign if we have somewhere here hmm. let's just choose this stack of cash here okay and next default oh no default is going to be hidden because we are going to talk about data security and record access level so i'm gonna make that hidden and next include tab no let's not include tab and save okay so let's make some fields and let's make it simple okay i'm just going to make an amount paid um, a cash or currency next amount paid let's make a decimal so we can put some few cents there and of course it will be required okay because if you make a payment we have to know the amount that is being paid so we have payment uh, amount paid and let's make a new one payment type okay so let's make that a pick list um, pick list here 
payment type and I'm going to enter a local value it would be cash credit card or check check like that okay and I'm going to save this as it is now now we're going to talk about I'm going to make it visible and now we're going to talk about the access to this particular new object and its records go back to the trail let's discuss about it so as you can see we can set access level to the record um, organization wide so the default what everybody can see regardless of their profile and access level meaning their permission sets so the most restrictive access is the organization wide default so for this example to make it simple let's make organization wide default the most restrictive access level meaning it's a private model what is a private model if i scroll down here so private only the record owner who created the record and users above the role in the hierarchy can view edit and report on those records okay now we are going to go back to our playground and i'm going to go back to home I'm going to type sharing settings here sharing settings so we have our sharing settings at the top here you see organization wide defaults so this is the most restrictive access level for everybody okay as you can see here so let's focus on the new object that we created which is payment so by default when you create a new object it's going to be public read and write meaning anybody can see the object records and they can write on it or create the records so that's how it's going to be so because this is payment we are going to restrict it to private so private would mean that the owner of the record whoever creates it can see it and write it and this checkbox here it means grant access using hierarchies it means everyone who is so for example i am the swimming instructor i created the payment record and my manager can see the payment record as well because my manager is above me in the role hierarchy we'll talk about that in the next module so let's not discuss too much about it so now i'm going to change this to private how can you do that i'm going to change this by hitting edit here and just change this to private so private means um, the only one who can see it is the record owner okay so i'm going to save this okay once you save sharing rules or sharing settings it takes a few seconds to actually update so as you can see oh it's still public read and write because it takes a few moments to actually update because they are updating the whole organization so what if you have 50 million records and you change the rules of how things can be seen it's going to take a while it's going to take a long time for 50 million records okay because this is a, a playground so you make changes and there is no data yet here it's going to take a few seconds so if i go back here it's private now right so keep in mind if you're modifying your org and you have a lot of data and you make changes it's going to take a while okay to modify and update everything and you will receive an email when it is completed so 
we have just changed this payment to private. So let's see. Private means if I go scroll down here on the orgwide defaults, private only the record owner here. I'm going to highlight this only the record owner and users above that role in the hierarchy can view, edit, and report on those records. Okay, so public read only, public and only read the record. They cannot edit or modify or delete. Okay, this is the basic one. Controlled by parent is the parent of the object. For example, if you have um, access to the opportunity, you can also access to the child record, the opportunity line item. Okay, so that is what it means. So let's go back to our playground because I forgot to link something. Um, okay, so we've talked about that. Now if we go back to our object manager and go back to our new object payment here, we actually have to link this to a lesson, right? Because this would be a child object of the swimming lesson, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new field, which is a master detail relationship. This is the child object of the opportunity or the swimming lesson, because every payment is, is a payment for a swimming lesson. So related to what? Oh, opportunity. Opportunity, where are you here? Next. Okay, um, that's fine. I'm going to hit next and next and next. Okay, now, yep, and save. So now all opportunities can have a payment link to it. Okay, now let's go back to our trail head here so we've discussed about org wide sharing and next we are going to talk about role hierarchy and sharing rules right so let's go ahead and do our challenge so we have discussed all about this and we've done it let's do the challenge now challenge requirement so create a custom object with the following settings. It has to be project and then, okay, so that the project. Oh, this is basically what we just did with the payment object. Okay, exactly what we did. But now it's just called project. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. That should be simple. So object manager again here, create a new object called project all right project projects right and then leave it as text and deployed and i'm going to hit save let's check everything out project projects object name project record name project name text and then it's going to be private because are only visible to the record owner and users above them in the role hierarchy. So that's pretty much it. If I go back here and I go to home, what do we type? Sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing rules. And scroll down all to the bottom to the project here. It's public read and write. We are going to make that private. Okay. So I'm going to edit that and change this to private. So do you see, um, let me let me save this again, okay? Do you see, so after you make a change, remember to take a few moments to wait and don't check your challenge just yet until you see this private, okay? So do you see the payment now is changed to controlled by parent and not private anymore, why? Because we just make the the payment object to be the child of the opportunity. Remember, 
when we make a master detail relationship now is controlled by the opportunity object okay that's how it works so now if i go back here and i refresh make sure now it's private so project now is private so it's now safe to check the challenge and get my 500 points so that's it and i will see you on the next module where we talk about role hierarchy bada bing bada boom boom <laughs> i'll see you in the next video